On May the 11th in this year of 2021, I visited Spooner Row Railway Station as it commenced its 177th year of continuous operation. It was in fact engineered and brought to life by none other than Robert Stevenson in collaboration with George Bidder. The permanent way today is constantly in use by both Greater Anglia and the East Midlands Railway Companies. Although the station itself is an infrequent request stop, pretty much in the heart of rural Norfolk, with the Mid Norfolk Heritage Line just one stop up at Wyndham. Great Yarmouth is 30 miles to the east, Cromer is 40 miles to the north, and Hunt Stanton is 50 odd miles to the northwest. So it really is in the middle of nowhere. The greater game plan back in the 1800s was that you could leave Shoreditch in London and arrive at Brandon on the East Coast Railway before transferring to the Norwich and Brandon Railway, or NBR, which would take you to the River Wensum but not across it. Trouse Bridge obviously hadn't been built then. Although Brandon Town is in Suffolk, Brandon Station, which was also built in 1845, is physically in Norfolk. From 1862 to 1922, the station was part of the Great Eastern Railway Network, and presumably the 15 Norfolk boys remembered on the war memorial in the churchyard would have left from these platforms with apprehension and to the noise of steam. From 1923 until 1947, as part of the London North Eastern Railway, before its absorption to British Railways from 1948 until 1994. Thereafter, we have had Anglia Railways, National Express, East Anglia, Central Trains, East Midlands Trains, Abellio Greater Anglia, and East Midlands Railway. It has been mooted that the line will be electrified by 2050, or possibly hydrogen powered.